Well, the fact that a lot of the through hikers are road walking and aqua blazing has been my reward. There are so many wine berries out here. It's like no one's been through here in a week. Yum. Welcome back to day 85. I'm Captain. And I'm Sunshine. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. We are, we're gonna originally go 19 plus miles today. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make that because we got a really late start. We were just both kind of just slow this morning. But yesterday we got a kind of a late start and we still managed to hit 19.1. So you never know, we might pull it, we might bring it. Um, we've got a wayside, which is gonna be for brunch, and we'll, we'll fill up on fuel, and hopefully that'll give us a nice kick to get going. There's, it's already, so we started about, what time did we start this morning? We started around 7.45. Okay, 7.45, and it's around 10, and it's 76 degrees, so it's a warm one today. Um, mm, what else? I don't know. Do we have anything else to share? <laughs> Not really. We just got water and we're fully nice and packed out. And we're headed up a nice little mountain before we get to our, what would now be considered, yeah, brunch. So five miles to brunch. Woo woo. If we go to this wayside, for those of you who don't know what wayside is, it's like a... A gas station for... The, <laughs> the mountain range that we're currently in. I've forgotten the name. Shenandoah. Shenandoah, exactly. <laughs> um, gas station with food. So if they said to you when you got to the counter, Captain, you can eat anything you want. We have the best chefs here to make any type of food you want. What, oh, well, would, you, what would you have? You're, you're, you're expanding my, my imagination. I was thinking like, oh, limit it to U.S. stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Now no, I'm you thinking. can have anything you want from any country. Okay. Now I'm thinking eat? udon from Japan. Okay, I gotta stop for a second. I'm um, already getting tired. I'm thinking an ice cream sandwich and, I don't know, a Johnny Rockets milkshake. Oh, that sounds yummy. I would have sushi from Japan. Um, I would have fries from Belgium. I would have a lemonade from the U.S. Um, and I think I'd have stuffed jalapeno poppers from Jack in the Box. That's what I would have. Mm -hmm. Do Captain and I look like an advertisement for Embry-Riddle University? <laughs> look at our shirts. Do we have a weird lens on? I feel like we look funny today. No, it may be the, the heat. The heat makes the, us look funny. The lens, maybe. So, Captain is actually in a dual enrollment high school program with Embry-Riddle. Um, and so when he graduates from high school, he'll have an AS degree, so a two-year degree that um, he will have two years of college already done, and it's going to actually be in aviation, and then he wants to go to university to become a commercial pilot. So... He switched out his shirt because his high school shirt was getting pretty gnarly. And I just have this one in my bag. It's super thin um, for really hot days because I, the tank top, when I wear the tank top, it's great and all, but the bag sometimes rubs against my skin and it can be irritated and uncomfortable. So I like to have like a little shirt barrier between my skin and the bag. And today's really hot. So clearly there was a very big fire here but I think I've said this before when we've gone through a fire area look at how the earth repairs itself there's so much green already coming back it's kind of a it's a weird contrast with like the saturated green and the charcoal um, from the trees it's kind of and of course it's super ominous you can't imagine all the animals that were out here when this were happening and how scary it must be like Look at that tree, it's totally fried.
sure you can guess what that scratch and sniff moment is like. Burnt, burnt, burnt. If you look over here, with this. This is sad. So I think this might be our next adventure vehicle. We're just gonna have to get a sidecar for Captain. <laughs> you and Sentry could ride in the sidecar. So hilarious, that's never <laughs> happened. I love it. Oh, another day, another burger, another milkshake, another wayside. We're getting way too pampered. I'm gonna start expecting this later on. Every day on the hike, and right? And we're just not, we're just <laughs> never gonna have it. I heard like in New Jersey and New York, there's a lot of sandwich, like sub shops. I'm pretty excited about that. How's the shake? Sub shops are gonna have shakes. I know. Does it compare to the blackberry or is it? I mean, it's a different taste, but it's equally as good. It's still good. Oh gosh, okay. I gotta eat, guys. I can't talk. You've seen the food. Onward. I think this is called the hiker walk of shame. Another Coke, another hot dog, another smash burger. We officially have hiker hunger. And I'm not ashamed. It is the walk of shame. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Listen, that's the sound of water. So it's raining and it hasn't rained in so long. It feels so good. It's super humid today. Temperature is, I don't know what the temperature is. It is 75 and probably 100% humidity. I haven't checked and it just started raining and it feels so great. Also, hopefully we'll get enough rain for the water sources to um, fill up a bit, because that's been quite um, troubling. So Captain's gearing up with his new Frog Tog rain jacket. So we'll see how he likes that. It wasn't expensive, um, and we're hoping it's gonna be a little more airy than the last one, which was suffocating us. Um, so uh, guys, at lunch, we met another YouTuber. Her channel name is Rissa Romes. I can't remember what her channel name was. Moshi? Uh, Ro Rissa Romes is the channel. Yes. Moshi, Mishi. I don't know, something like that. Um, we, I don't know her channel, but, but I don't know any channels because we're out here and I don't have a lot of time to, I don't have any time to watch um, other people that are out here um, vlogging. But go check her out. She was lovely, 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 very interesting and funny and fun to have lunch with. So I'm sure her channel is the same. So give a shout out to her. And I'm sure she doesn't have time to watch vlogs, but if she is, hi. And we hope to see you again. So we are in the middle of the trail right now because mom has had a little bit of a dizzy spell. Um, and I just wanted to kind of document this to make sure. I mean, if anything goes wrong, we're here. Um, how are you feeling? Wait, oh, there we go. Feeling pretty dizzy. And this just kind of randomly happened. Yeah, just as we were coming up the hill. Yeah. So we've got sugars coming in. I mean, I'm not dehydrated or anything like that, so I don't know what it is. I mean, I've had plenty of everything. Okay. So I'm feeling a little bit better, but we, Largo Captain is going to put my pack on the front of him and carry it. We've got two miles until an exit point, and we are going to get off the trail tonight just because. Even if I am feeling better, um, it's kind of a little scary being out here if I'm not fe if I'm feeling dizzy. Um, okay, here we go. Can you do that? This is so light. <laughs> Strong teenager. All right, let's get going before it gets dark. Now, do you need me to move something? Hold the Garmin. Like, nope. you're gonna have better visibility if we take this off. Um, no. Oh my God, I'm really worried you're gonna fall with all that. This is Look. actually comfortable. Here's the cord. Oh. oh. You is can it want to unplug that? Yeah, let me just unplug it and I'll carry it. Okay. This is Let's actually see. really nice. Is it? Okay, do you want me to take your pole? Uh, no. I will, okay. I will use it. I don't know where to put this. Wow, look at him go. Let me see the turnaround. Let me see. <laughs> Super Largo. So we are almost to the road. Will was going to pick us up tomorrow night to sleep in a bed and slack us over the weekend. And he's just going to come now. Um, I'm feeling okay-ish but not well enough to not that I want to sleep in the tent so here's the deal I actually suffer from very debilitating vertigo and I haven't had it all on the trail but it gets to a point 
Hold on a second, now I'll go. It gets to a point where it gets so bad that I have to lay in bed for a couple days and it's a challenge just to get up, get up and walk to the bathroom. And so I felt dizzy and I felt like, oh my gosh, is this going vertical lane? And I was really, really scared. So I just sat right down and I don't want to, that's why I'm not carrying my packs. I don't want to put any more pressure on my neck or anything just in case that aggravates it. And so I think it's best that I'm with Will tonight, but I'm grateful because it hasn't happened at all on the trail. And so I'm happy about that. And I'm happy that Largo is big and strong and he can carry, look at this, carried it for like, what, two miles? Thank you, honey. We're going to sit down now and wait for Will because he can't come get us for like two hours. All right. I, I have so much to say about today and I'm jumping forward because we're in a shuttle with Matthew, known as Gumbo, and he picked us up. He saved me from my, I don't know, almost vertigo and we thought we'd be sitting out here for like three days waiting for Will to get us. So I'm so happy. And he actually knew our channel, which was really fun because someone came through, you guys, I mentioned 007. Well, he came through and mentioned us, which is really cool and wonderful and this trail community is like amazing i mean have you been doing this for a while uh for about a month a, mu a month well i've been doing trail magic for two weeks but i've been because i drive uber wait you're not a shuttle driver no i well <laughs> I who are we with <laughs> i'm an uber driver okay you're an uber driver right oh that's so cool yes so i was getting a lot of uber <sighs> requests to come up to the trail crossing okay and, um, I was getting, you know, half a dozen or more a day. Started meeting the hikers, started listening to their stories, and I was very inspired by it. The more I met, the more fascinated I was with the whole the whole endeavor. So this this night just keeps getting better and better and better. Wow. Yeah, so so what happened was I went up one weekend to the trail crossing and okay. there was a nice couple up there and they set up a little table. This is in the front royal trail crossing. Okay. And they were giving out pizza and soda, and they said, and they, I went up because I was picking up one of the one of the hikers because they had requested an Uber, and they said, "Well, we're doing trail magic." And I said, "Well, what's trail magic?" Oh and my she said, god! Oh, it's just when you do something nice for other people, you, you know, un random acts of kindness to help help the hikers. So I said, hmm, "Well, I think I can do that too," because I drive them. So. The heat wave hit like two days later, and that's when I decided that as long as this heat is going to be in effect, I was going to do all trail magic rides for hikers. In the oh trail. my gosh, this is so cool. So, well, I didn't even ask you how much it costs because I'm like, this person is coming out here on 4th of July to save us, and uh, the price is not going to be an issue for me at all. Like, I'm just so yeah. grateful for you to come out. And then I get in the car, and you give me this thing that says yeah. trail magic. And I'm yeah, like, this is crazy because we had, we had, I can't even tell if that's in focus. I hope it it's is. in focus. Oh, good. Cause I can't find my glasses. As long as you blur out my phone number. <laughs> oh yeah. My, yeah. Will will blur out the, blur that out. Will. he always does anyway. I got to get that sun, that sunset up there too. Yeah, we got to get to a, um, we got to get to a, um, an overlook for you. Oh, wow. So he said, I really think we should get off. And I said, okay. Cause I, I would hate, I mean, it's not dangerous to burn but I would hate for him to have to deal with it. It's 11 p.m. and we're in a hotel with Will and my dizziness did not turn into vertigo, thank goodness. There's so much I wanted to share. Everything, things happened so quick after lunch today that I didn't get an opportunity to share with you guys on the trail because then I got dizzy and was worried about vertigo and then everything just went fast. So I need to recap because today was an extra magical day in a lot of ways. Um, after we had our lunch at the wayside, I don't know, about like two or three hours later, my feet were really hurting me. Rather than take a break on the trail, we came to a parking lot and we just sat down. I took my shoes off. And within about three minutes there, a guy pulls up in a white van and he says, are you guys through hikers? And we said, yeah. And he said, would you like some trail magic? Now, right before that, I just said to Captain, I wish someone would pull up and ask us if we want ice creams, like trail magic. And we both had a good laugh. So this guy, I forget, if you're watching, I forget your trail name. He's a 2019, I believe, through hiker, herbalist, um, really interesting dude. Um, he gave us clementines and cookies and like um, fruit snacks. 
And then he said, do you mind if I get a chair out of my van and sit here and chat with you? And we were like, no, sure, come on. So we sat there and we chatted with him for a while and it was, it was really a very special experience, especially since Captain and I had had some talks about community today. And when we close out the video tonight, I'll share what we talked about. Um, so we talked with him for a bit and then we put our shoes on, we get back on the trail. And as he's pulling away, um, a very large, like extended family of three cars pulls in and they get out of the car and they ask us where the AT trail is. And then they say, are you through hikers? And then we start and have like a 20 minute conversation with them. And that was a really, if you guys are following, that was a, both of those experiences were really bright light in our day to day. Not because today was awful, but because we were feeling the pull of really wanting to feel like having more, um, there's not as many people on the trail now. And so having more contact with people and interesting conversations and learning about people's lives. So both of those experiences today really gave us like a, a bounce on our step. And we were at the end of our day trying to hit our 19 miles. And then I got feeling really bad on the trail. We sat down and we kind of evaluated what the best thing to do. And we decided that it was best that I get off the trail for the night. And I'm feeling great. It never actually came to vertigo, but it was, it was very dizzy and I didn't want to sleep out in the woods and have kind of Lago have that responsibility of taking care of me if I did get vertigo, because it can be really kind of crazy. So Will had to drive from a couple hours away. We were going to see him tomorrow night anyway. And he said, can you get a shuttle out of the park and we have I think, I think like six more miles left to do on Shenandoah before we're done. And I was like on 4th of July at 8.15 at night. So I went into Far Out and I looked and there was this guy, Matthew, who does shuttle rides and people said to call him. So I text him and he says, I'll be there. I'm leaving right now. I'll be there in like 25 minutes. And so he pulls up and he says, hey guys, I follow you on YouTube. And we were like, hey. And it was really nice and we thought, this is so fun, how sweet, we get to chat with this guy. And then he hands me this paper, piece of paper that says, um, you know, I, you, you saw it already on the blog that he's doing trail magic and that our ride was free. And I was like, what? And so you guys heard his whole story, but um, I, I, I'm a bit speechless because of all the interesting people and the trail magic and then Matthew Gumbo, your trail magic. Um, it's so kind and so, uh, these stories and these people and these connections so greatly enrich this experience. So I thank everyone who was in our life today who brought a bright light and, and made us smile and put a bounce in our step. Um, I'm going to bed tonight so, so, full of joy and filled with love and, and, and showered, which is so nice because it's been a week since I had a shower. Welcome to the end of day 85. Where we went 17.1 miles. It was supposed to be 19, but someone had a dizzy spell. We went from mile 946 to mile 963. And... You and I had an interesting conversation over lunch that I didn't tape, but I want to recap for a minute. I was saying to Captain that I thought maybe we should jump ahead to the bubble because it felt like we didn't really have much community because there are not many people on the trail right now. And you didn't want to. What was your reason you didn't want to? It was more oh, wait, because... Oh, wait, 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 before I say that. Then we would go back and make up those 200 miles that we skipped. Uh, no, but yeah, it would be more because I wouldn't want to have to get to Katata and be like, we're here. Time to go back and then have to do 200 miles in October in the cold, probably when there's a lot less people in yeah. this, the, the, this kind of region. And you were wise. You were like, I think we have good community. You know, you didn't feel like we were missing out on having community. And then today... Um, like I just told you guys about, we had like all this kind of community, like off trail community, but still part of the trail community that I think enriched both of our lives today, right? Like we both had a bounce in our step and felt so different. After. I would say we need that pick me up though. I would say we did too. I would say we did too. So everyone, that was the best part of my day today. Um, the man in the white van, I forget your trail name, the family from all over the world that was so curious about the trail and Matthew, the shuttle driver, like all of you were the best part of my day 
today and the two hot dogs I ate. <laughs> Both separate best parts. <laughs> Did you have a best part of your day? I would say the best part of my day was just kind of hiking today. It was nice to see how fast or how fast I could go with two packs on. Oh yeah, look at you, bragger, bragger, bragger. <laughs> I think we definitely could have hit our 19 miles today if it wasn't for the dizziness. Like oh, We both were feeling really great. Yeah. I think that we've had a, several days of really pretty high numbers and I feel very strong. I know you've got some blisters, but that'll just toughen up your Eventually. young feet. <laughs> Did you have a worst part of your day? No, i say today was a really good day. I just had a nice little burger that I um, sequestered away in my bear box for tonight. Um, the worst part of my day was that I got dizzy and I was nervous that I was gonna get a spell of vertigo. And sometimes it lasts anywhere from 24 hours to like three or four days. So it didn't happen, um, luckily. And now we're another best part of my day is that I'm gonna get to sleep in the same bed with Will tonight. In a bed, period. In a bed, that's true. But tomorrow's not a zero. We're gonna hit some more tomorrow. So you guys go out there and live the dash. We'll see you on day 86. Bye. Okay, you got here, guy. Someone's mic isn't on. Your mic, I don't think, is on. Okay, so now we're okay to taper. Yeah. I never asked him how much he charged uh, would charge us for the ride because I just knew that if we had to wait for Will, it'd be several hours we're waiting up there. And I figured, you know, it'll be a reasonable price, whatever, and we'll pay it. So we get in the vehicle and he gives us a century. I just don't know what the white words are. <laughs> and I'm not gonna cry, I promise. I just think it's really sweet that people take such a pride in being part of this trail community and 